cool right guys uh, welcome back to this uh, jengo tutorial video i don't even know which accent that is but it's pretty funny <laughs> anyways uh, all right guys welcome back to this jengo tutorial i think it's the sixth video so let's get started with this video and in this video we are going to be building the navigation bar of our personal website so if you don't know what a navigation bar is it's basically the top bar uh, at every website which kind of helps you like navigate the website properly so for this video, I expect you to have a very, very basic understanding of HTML and CSS. If you don't have that, just Google, uh, just go to YouTube or something, or just, you know, just learn very basics of HTML and CSS, and then come back to this video. Or you can just go through this video and see how much you know, and, uh, you know, just figure out from there. So anyways, we are going to be adding a navigation bar using this web development framework called Bootstrap 4. Not Bootstrap 4, actually now it's Bootstrap uh, 4.1. But anyways, you can just Google Bootstrap, not Bootstrap 4, just Google Bootstrap. And it's going to take you directly to the latest version of Bootstrap, which while recording this video is 4.1. Obviously, I mean, if it's 4.5, 4.9 even, don't worry about it because most of the Bootstrap versions, until it gets to maybe Bootstrap 5 or something, mostly remain the same. So don't worry about that too much if the version number is different. But anyways, for this uh, 4.1 version, what we are gonna do is, we are just gonna click on get started. So what is basically Bootstrap, all right? Bootstrap is a web development framework. So if you know HTML and CSS, you will realize, or if you have done any kind of HTML basic work, you realize that there's a lot of code that is required that you need to write to get your uh, website look good, make it responsive, and all, all that stuff. So Bootstrap basically helps you just copy paste code like a lot of people like to say, hey, I, I'm like, I know Bootstrap 4 and stuff like that. But basically it's copy pasting if you know HTML, CSS. All right. Uh, this Bootstrap 4 is like the most famous framework. If you're into web development, you probably know, especially front end web development, you probably know what Bootstrap is. Uh, so let's let's get started. I'm also not going to get a lot into Bootstrap 4. I'm just going to like copy and paste code. And mostly it's that. So if you know HTML, CSS, you're probably going to understand what I am doing. So basically before even just uh, starting up with the uh, Bootstrap 4, we need this starter template, which contains all the files that are required for Bootstrap 4. So over here, the first few lines are required for uh, the website to be responsive. Responsive basically means when you view it on a mobile phone or in a tablet, it makes sure that the website still looks good. So this is kind of the view on uh, my laptop, but if I shrink it a little bit, you can see if, if I take it to, Kind of like a mobile phone level something like that maybe it still looks good right it doesn't look bad it still looks good the navigation bar changes a little and stuff like that so this is what responsive means so the these first two three lines basically are required for be, it being responsive obviously other things are also required but these two lines kind of start the process of a website being responsive then this is a file that is required by bootstrap bootstrap for and these, these three files are also required by Bootstrap. Don't worry about them too much. I mean, you can, if you know Bootstrap 4, you know what these are. Uh, these are the JavaScript files required by Bootstrap. So anyways, I'm just gonna copy this uh, to my index.html, gonna paste this over here. And this looks pretty good. Let's go to our uh, working thing, press enter. And it, you know, this is working when this hello world is being printed over here. So now we know our Bootstrap 4.1 is working. So next thing we need to do is actually add a navigation bar over here. So what we can do is go to in the components part, I think, and uh, go to this nav bar, which is basically the navigation bar. And you can read this stuff if you want to, or you can just like, you know, copy paste shit, which what you do in uh, Bootstrap 4. So this is the kind of the navigation bar you'll get if you paste this code but it contains a lot of stuff which we don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy a very, very simple navigation bar, something like this one. So I'm just gonna copy and uh, paste this inside our uh, body. So let's just, instead of this H1 tag, I'm just gonna paste this over here. And then you can format the HTML code that is inside uh, index.html by pressing on your keyboard if you are using PyCharm by pressing CTRL Alt plus L and this will properly format the HTML code. And then what you can do is, I just want to, I'm just gonna press enter over here 
and instead of hello world I'm just gonna write um, Arthreya's website um, all right so now we can just save it go to our hello world and hopefully our server will be automatically refreshed let's press enter and you can see this navigation bar has popped up at the top now if you go to this nav bar and click on inspect something is gonna come up why is it taking too much time anyways if you click on this nav bar and it goes to this this line which says class navbar brand and then the navbar so if we change this navbar to something else maybe arthrea as you can see this navbar thing also changes so now we know that this navbar is actually related to this nav uh, navbar brand class so what we can do is we can go to our uh, this this whole section area and try to like uh, maybe if you don't understand what I'm saying maybe go back to this uh, page of bootstrap 4 because this is mostly a Django tutorial not a web development tutorial that's why I'm not gonna go into web development a lot and if you already know what I'm doing I'm just creating this nav bar at the top maybe you can sk even skip this video you can create your own nav bar skip this video this is mostly a web development kind of a quick uh, quick crash kind of a video so anyways what I'm gonna do is I need uh, so right now our this kind of looks like this I need three links mostly maybe I'll add more in the future but for right now I need uh, just three links let's go back to our code and we're gonna add three links home is okay and then I'm just gonna add portfolio and uh, the last thing I'm gonna add is maybe contact and that's pretty much it let's actually remove this the last one so this is basically if you don't know this is uh, unordered list and this is list I'm not gonna go into that these these are divisions these are buttons I'm not gonna go into that but yeah so let's press enter yeah home portfolio contact now what I want is instead of this nav bar I want an image of myself that animated image to appear in this nav bar area so if we go back to our nav bar bootstrap and maybe scroll up a little bit as you can see there is an image over here so what it says is instead of nav bar brand and writing a uh, navbar or atri over here just add an image so we know how to add an image in our django template now so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here remove this navbar from here press enter and paste this image and if we go to the top we first need to load the static files to add an image so we are going to do that so let's load uh, all these static files by adding a tag and then inside this tag load static and then inside the source we are just gonna remove all of this stuff and inside these double quotes make sure you add these double quotes because if you're not adding these double quotes your image won't show up so let's add this tag then we are gonna write static that is look inside the static folder and which where should it look inside the static folder I want it to look inside my site my site then images and then pick dot PNG uh, and let's actually increase the width and the height to 70 pixels and let's go back press enter let's remove this all right so this looks a little bit better now what I wanted there should be some space left on the left hand side and the right hand side of the snap bar but I still want this lightish uh, grayish color in the background so what happens is in navbar there is this class called container if you add that class it makes sure that there is some kind of spacing given on the left hand side and the right hand side so what I'm gonna do is inside this uh, somewhere over here I'm just gonna add a division it says class equals to container and then we'll just scroll down and add a tag over here close the tag uh, where is this navigation coming from just close this tag then press CTLL alt plus L so make sure that it's formatted properly uh, closing tag matches nothing what am I doing wrong all right I haven't closed this tag over here let me remove this all right so now we can just press CTRL or plus L and it's going to make sure that the tabs are correct so now we have added the class of container and if we press enter you're gonna see what it does so if you press enter as you can see there is some space that is given on the left hand side and there's also some space that is given on the right hand side but you can't see it yet because we haven't added anything over here so let's add something actually on the right hand side so in any kind of personal website you must have noticed there are always social links like of Facebook Instagram and LinkedIn and stuff so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this uh, unordered list 
and I'm gonna paste this again just at the bottom and somewhere over here press enter and then over here we're just gonna instead of all of this stuff we are just gonna remove this uh, home and stuff like that and we are gonna basically remove like replace these by images so I'm just gonna cut the video where I'm gonna add the images because I don't want to waste your guys time so boom so over here I have added three items of LinkedIn Facebook and Instagram over here inside this unordered list and I haven't uh, actually changed this source to our uh, tag source basically what we do just to make sure that you guys remember what it is I'm gonna do it again so what we can do is I can just copy this from over here because I am very lazy and I'm gonna paste this on all of these three so let's paste this over here then we're gonna paste this over here paste this over here and then we are gonna just make sure that uh, I'm gonna copy these three files that are of Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and make sure that these are of 64 by 64 pixels. Obviously, feel free to change the size if you want to. I'm just gonna make sure that it is of 64 by 64 pixels, and then I'm gonna paste it inside this images folder. Let's paste this over here. So now we have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. So I'm just gonna change this to uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn.png, uh, Facebook.png and instagram.png all right so this looks uh, pretty pretty good so let's go back and press enter let's see how it looks so this last file is actually not coming i don't know why so let's go back to our code and see what's the problem this is instagram.png all right guys so i figured out the problem and the problem is pretty weird and i don't know why it's happening actually so the problem is is with my uh, image so it's not it's uh, it's not accepting this image for some reason but if I change it to facebook.png or something like that facebook.png and go to my uh, browser and press enter as you can see the three images are being rendered correctly so what I can do is I can change this uh, image maybe uh, in the next video or something I'll just change it in the middle of the video so that I don't waste the time but I need to download a proper image of instagram.png maybe I download something like a corrupt version or something but anyways uh, apart from that and if you're getting confused by this class equals to social it doesn't actually mean anything you can just remove that if you want to it's, uh, it's just something that I did previously when I was creating this website so because I copied and pasted this code that's why it's kind of uh, some extra stuff so let me just remove all of this stuff from here and yeah let's save it go to our uh, thing press enter and it looks pretty good but what I wanted is that this all these three uh, links should be in the middle and all these three uh, social links should be on the right hand side so what I can do is I can go to this uh, second nav bar over here that is nav bar nav and over here I can just type in mx dash auto and let's go back press enter and as you can see all of these three links are in the middle this is on the left hand side and these three social links are actually on the right hand side with a lot of space uh, on the right hand side of this uh, navigation bar so on the left hand side because of the class equals to container there is some space on the left hand side and on the right hand side and now all of these three links are in the center of our navigation bar which we wanted 